Design Artist. Today we are going to create paper monsters. Here's one I just made. Um, my monster is symmetrical. Now the monsters we're going to make at home and today with me um, are not going to be scary monsters. They're going to be monsters that are silly and school appropriate. So no, nothing that would be really scary to somebody. But to make this monster, I think he looks silly. Um, I use bright colors. And the word symmetrical means that it's the same on both sides. It's like a mirror image. If I would cut this down the middle and put a mirror there, it reflects the other side. So whatever I have on this side, I have on this side. I've got a foot here and just like this. And it just reflects each other if I were to fold it in half. And that's exactly what we're going to do to get our symmetrical shape. So this is one example that I have. One of my little teeth are coming off. But again, notice that whatever I have on one side, I put it on the other. And then if, if it's directly in the middle, it'll still work, okay? I use paper and markers for this. You can use other things that you might have at home. All right, so to start, I have this big piece of orange this time where I used pink. It doesn't matter whatever colors you have at home. Even white will be fine. And if you fold it in half, I'm going to do this long and thin, depending on how you want the shape of your monster to go. This is called hot dog bun ways because it's long and thin like a hot dog bun. The other way would have been a hamburger bun if you'd gone the other way, like this, more like a hamburger bun. But we're going to do, I'm doing hot dog right now because I want a longer body. And then this is real important whenever you do a symmetrical project and you don't want it to fall apart and make two pieces, you want to make sure that the folded side stays folded and the open side is the parts that you're going to cut off. So I'll show you. So down here, if I want this to be the bottom, you can make it zigzag, you can leave it, it's up to you. And then the sides, which is the open part, I'm only going to cut on that. So I'm kind of making it up as I go. I'm putting my hand on the folded part so I don't forget to leave it alone. And cut it. Now, when I open it up, I've got a shape that is the same on both sides. It's symmetrical, and now I can start. Um, another thing you can do is if you want to create something that's not attached like this one, but you want to glue it on each side of your monster, let's say you want to make an eye, you can still fold it in half, only you don't need to worry about the fold. Or you can take two pieces of paper and just put them on top of each other and cut them out together. So for this, I'm actually going to create my mouth and my eyes with it. So I am going to use the fold for right now and hold it and make a half a mouth. Now I am not using a pencil to draw this first, but I want to encourage you to use a pencil if you want, because it'll help remember and keep you keep you in mind of like what you want to do. It's up to you. But let, with that, because I folded it and opened it, I have a mouth shape. And I could go on the um, open part and I'm going to cut two circles out. But they don't have to be attached by the folds because I'm going to not put them exactly together. And by doing that and cutting them at the same time, I have two of the same shape because they were just on top of each other. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull my screen down so you can see me place this on my monster. So here's my monster shape that I just cut out. I went ahead and put that piece for the mouth. And then since I have eyes that are the same, I could put them there like that. Now, there's so many things you can do. You can use different colors. You can add arms. You can add antennas. You can make multiple eyeballs. On this one, just to be silly, I had made just one eyeball in the center with dots. Um, I also used markers to add my detail to it. So from there, this actually kind of reminds me of a Pac-Man ghost. Um, you can make your monster however you want. This is just a start, but I want to encourage you to add arms and feet and patterns and try to make whatever you make on one side, make it on the other. Now, so you stay symmetrical. I am going to let you, if you want to do a tail, and I know that a tail 
if you just want one tail on your monster and have it go off the side, then that's the case where you can make it asymmetrical because you, we can just pretend the tail is in the middle of the back, but it goes off to the side. I have this little sheet here I'm going to hold up if you wanted to, to zoom in on it or pause it to give you some ideas of some things you can add to your monster. Horns, wings, um, this is an example here of an asymmetric like if you wanted to make a tail instead. The dots in the middle of these are where the fold would be when you cut it out. Here's some examples of some mouth, funny eyes, arms and legs. You could do many feet. That would be fun. This is, again, just some ideas. I also want to encourage you that you could add paper scraps to make dots or maybe textures or fur on your monster. I want you to have fun, and I cannot wait to see what you make. Remember, we're trying to keep it symmetrical, the same on both sides. The one time you could change that is if you have a tail off to one side. Have fun, and I am so excited to see what you make for me.